is in the air in my sewing room. Might seem a little bit weird since it's still like mid-January, but I've already started to plan out my Valentine's Day outfit. I have a significant other. We've been together for almost 12 years, so it's pretty safe to say that I'm going to have a Valentine this year. Um, so I thought I would make a really cute, fun dress to celebrate that day, celebrate our relationship, celebrate love that I have for all my friends and for all of you guys. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So I'm doing like a mini plans video to talk about just my Valentine's Day outfit in case you want to knock it off and make your own version. So I had this idea to color block and I thought that it would be really fun to color block a bunch of different tones. So here are my fabrics. I have this beautiful like bubblegum pink. I have a true red red and a burgundy. All of these are Ponty Knits that I got on fabric.com. The colors actually were pretty easy to find. This is the Fabric Merchants Ponty and I am obsessed. I had no idea what it was going to be like, but it is the perfect, like, look at that drape. Look how beautiful that drape is going to be. It's like sort of lightweight, which is nice because Ponty is a little warm. So uh, it's nice that it's light because then it's not too, too hot. But I just am obsessed with the drape on it. Let's pull this guy over here so you guys can see a little bit better um, what we're dealing with here. It's not beautiful. I love, love, love all the folds in it. And the colors are gonna be really fun to combine together. So I will have a link in the description box for the fabrics so that you can get them for yourself. And then as far as patterns go, I actually have two patterns that are meant for Ponty Knit, but none of them other than this one sort of, uh, is drafted for color blocking. This one is kind of hard to see from the envelope, but it's just a very basic uh, silhouette. You can see it's just like a bodice with a kind of flared, not even a circle skirt. I think it's just a line. So I went online and looked up color block Valentine's Day outfits or something like that and found this adorable Kate Spade one which I think is super super cute and very simple and you would only need two of the colors. You would probably need like a yard and a half of your main fabric and then half a yard for the band depending on how wide your skirt is. Maybe you would need to go up to you know two yards and then one yard. I got a yard and a half of each of them to make what I'm planning, uh, but I'm sure I'll have leftovers. Um, so I thought that was really cute. I also found this other dress that kind of sparked a little bit of um, inspiration as well. I don't, I've never heard of the brand, but it's available on Rent the Runway and it has navy um, as the main color, which I would just swap out. But I loved like the swoopiness of the skirt. I loved how the bodice was all one and then the skirt was three pieces. It kind of reminded me a lot of the dress that I made when I did all the pattern matching. Um, so because of that, because I liked that one more, it used three fabrics, it felt um, more like what I had in my mind, I decided to go with Simplicity 8213. And I'm just going to make this version here with the sleeve. I really wanted a sleeve for this as well. Maybe not this long of a sleeve. Maybe more like this. I'm not sure. Um, and the bodice and the sleeve will all be, I think, red. Like the true red. This little cuff thing is going to be pink. And then I'm going to do a pink swoopy and a burgundy swoopy. So swoopy, I don't know why, I'm, you know what I mean, color blocking like with a diagonal type of situation. Um, but the little sleeve ruffle will be color blocked as well. Do you guys like that idea? I am so excited about it. I think it's gonna be pretty easy to um, 
like draft the skirt. You just take your skirt pattern, trace it off, you know, cut it into three pieces that are somewhat easy to sew and add your seam allowances and then hit the town with cutting. So I'll be sure to film that process uh, so that if you guys ever want to take like a basic skirt and color block it yourself, you'll be able to do that. But I just wanted to share with you what I was thinking, what I was going to be kind of working on uh, the idea of color blocking with the tonal reds and pinks and um, yeah, just where I would be going, what, what I might be wearing, what I might be looking like on Valentine's Day. Um, let me know if you guys make a Valentine's Day outfit. Do you make something special to wear for that day, whether you have a significant other or not? Do you make or wear something that's red just because, or I don't know, just let me know if you participate, how you participate, and if you really get into it at all. Um, so I hope that you like my idea as well. If you have anything else to add to this sort of design, let me know that in the comments as well, constructively, please. <laughs> uh, but that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Here's a heart for Valentine's Day. I will see you all very soon. Bye.